Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red uh, on tour in Liverpool. Um, wonderful, windy, cold, rainy day here in Liverpool. Praise the Lord. But I hope it's great in Dorset. Matthew chapter 16, uh, verses 17. Peter, having just made that incredible declaration to Jesus with regards to him being the Christ, and Jesus is just so filled with joy that Peter has finally got the insight that he needs in order to be able to understand what Jesus came to do and who Jesus was. And in verse 17, Jesus says these words, and Peter, he says to Peter, Blessed are you, Simon, bar Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So, blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah. So that was Peter's new name, Simon. And Bar-Jonah meaning he was the son of Jonah. So, Bar-Jonah, son of Jonah. Blessed are you, Bar-Jonah, son of Jonah. Because you have seen something. It says Simon Bar-Jonah. Because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, meaning it wasn't a human substance that made this insight of understanding regarding knowing that I am the Christ, the saviour of the world. It wasn't human beings, flesh and blood, that is revealed to you, Simon, Peter. No, no, it wasn't flesh and blood. You didn't get it intellectually. Something happened to you that brought a revelation of truth into your innermost being that showed you something that you didn't ever see before, but was right there in front of you. And Simon, it, it, Jesus is so filled with a sense of joy and inspiration. He says, he says, he did not reveal this to you. No, it wasn't anyone like that, but my father who is in heaven so he's saying that it was the father who brought this incredible revelation to peter's innermost being and showed him something that no one else had yet seen that jesus is the savior of the world jesus is god's provision to deal with the broken disconnection of humanity and jesus anticipates in this revelation that came to peter and we must ask ourselves a question, when does the penny drop for us? When do we get that sort of spiritual, uh, as it were, the light went on? We say that, don't we? The light was, it's like a light went on inside of me. And I understood something that I never understood before. And, you know, we need that sense of <clears throat> internal revelation that gives us this in, in, in intimate, internal understanding that God is not just an intellectual concept. He's not just a good idea. He's not just a, the, the, the recognition of someone who brings a creation into being. It's not just trying to come to a place where we understand, um, as it were, the natural things. No, God wants to bring us into the supernatural reality of what is eternal. Brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful world. God has made some wonderful human beings. But the reality is this is not eternal anymore. This, that which we have is coming to an end. There is a day when this will come to an end. And God will revisit the earth in Jesus and bring about a challenge to all of the disconnection and all of the rebellion that's taken place in the earth over so many years. He's coming to deal with the problem of disconnection, but he's coming in a different way. He's coming to judge the world for its choice to separate itself from him. This rebellion that human beings have lived in, he's come to deal with the issue of what is really, really, truly broken and the cause of all of the mess. But Peter, on this occasion, Jesus rejoices because something else has happened to him. He's seen the light. Have a great weekend. Bless you. And I'll see you um, on Monday. Hallelujah.